You know, it struck me that I don't actually need to recap what we need to do this episode. I just need to talk to the Teensy King every time. Anyway, greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamek. This is Let's Play Rayman Revolution. In the last episode, we saved Glowbox. Everyone is happy to have him back again. Yeah. I wish I had thought of getting this power in that last episode because it would have made all those pirate enemies a joke, but it would also show off, uh, show off an interesting thing about rebound. Anyhow, I think... Honestly, accumulation is probably the one that we want to get, so... We're that close, I might as well just grab all the lums that are in the local area because there's 30 lums in the area and I have none of them. Granted, uh, it would help a lot if I knew where they were, but... So yeah. Actually, another little thing, I probably showed it, but... Rayman, thanks to you, Globox can sleep easy, cold away. The little one found a little cave as well. You should go and see. Oh yeah, you see this little game of Globox soccer that the children are playing? It is actually a mini game that you can play in this game later on. Oh yeah, there's that. We can take this Globox baby with us. I'm sure Globox would have something to say about this though. Anyhow, I've actually had a lot of trouble getting today's uh, content working, so apologies if there's any slight problems. I'm hoping that this is the worst that I'm going to go through. No need to save. It wants to be taken a specific way, so it's clearly not that way. Oh, here's the lums. Well, there's somewhere we'll want to visit. Oh, uh, where's the hole in the... okay. Oh. Unfortunately, silent isn't something I'm very good at. And we have our first case of red pirates. They shoot out friggin' missiles. Missiles that we can destroy, but still. Look at how much damage we've taken. Yeah, red pirates are no joke. And we have our ten of thirty, so yeah, since we're dealing with red pirates now, accumulation would actually be a really good thing, but first, I want to show this. Yeah, there's a reason we can't go straight to the sanctuary. Yeah. 
And he's just gonna stay here. Anyhow, the reason I think that Rebound is a really good skill to have. If you were watching, then maybe you'd have noticed. When Rayman was using hi when Rayman's attacks hit, it sent off a second to shot, which is what Rebound said it would do. It rebounds off enemies. But what makes it a bit more interesting is that they aren't all equal power. If you were watching carefully, you'd notice that it would split off into a silver shot. So basically, it the rebounded attack is a uh, downgrade of his initial shot. And if you happen to have uh, uh, if you happen to have more people with the if you happen to have three people in close proximity, then you'd actually get the pathetic one damage shot you got from before you upgraded it with Lee. It's just an interesting thing I thought might mention. And I don't need this dialogue, please skim through. I think that this thing about re rate of fire is that originally you had this just by default. Rayman Revolution introducing the upgrades, they made you, once again, Rayman Revolution introducing upgrades by way of taking away your power. It's basically whichever you want to use depend. Rate of fire isn't that good because a lot of the pirates have a a lot of pirates have invincibility frames of their own, so you just don't get any use out of it. And it's better to go for accumulation. But there are a few enemies that don't have invincibility frames. And for them, rate of fire is better because you're just hitting I believe that the accumulated shot is exactly twice as strong as your normal shot. It also doesn't rebound, so all the upgrades will cancel each other out. Uh, at least he's gone back to somewhere more safe. I hope. Hopefully he didn't get captured by pirates. Whoop. Yeah, this... is actually the level. You wouldn't think so, but it is. Oh! Speaking of enemies with no invincibility frames, this is one of them. And it seems like our rebound actually hit a switch. I'm just looking at my health bar and thinking, man. <laughs> I was not supposed to hit that switch. Just pointing this out right away, I was not supposed to hit it. What you're supposed to do is dive down here. Um, just get some lums along the way. Swim up here, and then you'd hit it from here. But, well, rebound off enemy. Piranha warning. Now, I want I want to correct myself, I've been watching and I don't actually get extra health for collecting linked red lums. But they do heal a lot more HP than normal, I think is the effect. Which is still pretty handy if you say happen to be almost dead from fighting two red pirates at once. Actually put it's actually the best time to get the accumulation power because, well, we're now running into enemies that will need to, to deal with them. 
And here we have a little callback to the original Rayman. Oh. And we got it just in time because we now have a bunch more red pirates to deal with. But yeah, Rayman gets a powered up shot, but after taking three hits, he loses it. Which is actually pretty handy with the accumulation power. Um, pardon me, pardon me. It's weird because I remember there being a well, another one of those barrel enemies right about here. Huh. But the reason we'd come here is for that switch. Because, well, we don't have the power that lets us jump through lasers yet. Narrow corridor for barrels. What do they... Why do they just have these things for dropping barrels out in the middle of nowhere? Actually, this guy. I don't know whether he's going to do it here, but I know that in the PC version I played, it was actually a pirate that was melee focused. That is, he'd rush up to you to try and hit you in melee and... well... The thing is that if a pirate is trying to rush you for melee, it means that they've got an insta-kill for that melee attack. Yeah, accumulation is really good for dealing with pirates. Why I didn't get it... Why didn't I go for it first? Because rebound, I feel, is better. Also, if you really want to, you could hit him with a barrel. That's also another insta-kill. And Lee has a new minigame for us, so there's something else we're going to have to spend our time on. Okay, why was the Pirates Attack music playing all this time, I wonder? Wants to use her brother to oil the engines of the prison boat. Go help her fast before it's too late. So yeah, when you didn't have the teensy circle to give you tips on everything, that would be how you would find out about the pirates' unpleasant plans for the local whale. Is it with games always having these clam enemies that you re <laughs> with treasures inside? Is that how clams work in real life? They use the pearls to attract prey? Uh -huh. uh, we aren't going to keep our golden fist for very long, I'm afraid. And, while I'm thinking of yellow lums, I figured it out. How come they have the same number of lums in all the other versions in Rayman Revolution when you've got overworlds with lots of lums in them? The answer is that they actually stripped certain levels of their lum counts, like the Cave of Bad Dreams. Originally it had lums in it. It doesn't here, though. Just a little interesting detail, I thought. And I'm willing to bet that um, the Walk of Power and the Walk of Life are going to be what... Uh, well, they're going to be where the lums were stripped to make way for the other hub worlds. No voicing for the whale, though. And we have this guy again. Oh. 
Oh dear, this is the wrong way to face. And there goes our gold fist. No, the gold fist actually gives you a bit of a more raw to your shots, and I kind of liked that, but... Oh well, you can't be super powered all of the time, right? Also, how did I... The camera is so sneaky! What a sneaky devil. Oh. I bet I was supposed to do this with the shell. Well, that's the way back out, so... Smash the cage first. Uh, how many familiar spirits? 31, so... That previous one was just enough to get the... Uh, the... New minigame. How about that? I don't think that when the bubbles sparkle like that is it going to give more hair. At least I don't think so, but... Hmm. I think it's more of an eye catcher, let's say. But yeah, you definitely need Carmen to get through this gauntlet because there's no air bubbles down here. And now cutscene for scene transition. Piranhas are coming to take my air bubbles. So yeah, this deep down you've got a much higher chance of drowning if you let the piranhas get at those bubbles first. And now this part here, it's very easy to think that, oh, well, I need to keep following Carmen, but actually, this is where, you, this is where you were trying to get her to, and rotten thing. Or rather, this is where she was trying to get you to. So you can get into the pirate ship here. Just a little bit further, and... Air. I don't really get the story behind this whole thing, but... Oh well. I also found out that there is a... Does anyone remember back in the marshes of Awakening, there was that one big... Weird angler guy? He actually has a name. It's Egg. Wait, I didn't get to the... I feel so cheated! I wanted to get at the purple lum, but because the camera snapped out of position, I couldn't even aim at it. I mean... I was at full health, but... Still feels unfair. Oh. Woohoo! 
And there's the third cage. Which actually sort of raises the question of... How are we going to get back if we don't have the uh, Teensy to open the way? Because that was the third... I'm very confused now. I wish I knew how to get at the level totals because... I can still hear a cage! And I thought I just smashed the third cage of the level. <laughs> this is very confusing to me. Up we go again. Man, we did actually miss quite a few lums. Yeah. Don't worry too much about it though, because... Uh... Oh, okay, worry a little bit because there's a... Stop grabbing that ledge! <laughs> yeah, there's one of these gorilla pirates around. I guess he didn't add to the total. I don't know, it's weird to me. There we go, I knew I'd get it one of these times. But yeah, don't worry too much if you're struggling to... Rayman Revolution has a way that makes it much easier to track down the yellow lums later on. It's very much later on, but still, it's better than combing the same level over and over in hopes of finding that one thing that you can't find. A bit like the gem seek from uh, Spyro 2 and 3. Rayman, without Globot and Carmen, you won't be able to go inside the temple. Well, there you go. Next time on Let's Play Rayman Revolution, we go inside the temple. Rayman, without Globot and Carmen. Until then, guys, take care. We'll see you all around. Ooh. Mm -hmm.